Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10, which is build 14.946 Redstone 2. And this is um, a build that was released uh, six days after the last build, which is on Friday. And Friday builds are rather um, something that we don't see very often. Um, most of the time, Microsoft doesn't want to release Friday builds uh, because the weekend is there and everything. So um, maybe that's why they decided to do it today. Uh, I knew it was today or tomorrow. Donald Sarkar had said yesterday in a post, tomorrow or Friday. So 14946. Um, it installed flawlessly once again on my machine. It's uh, These installs seem to be really good. Um, and I had much more problems in the past before the anniversary update with the builds that went to the anniversary update where I had many, many times uh, issues in upgrading. Uh, since Redstone 2 builds, I do not have uh, install problems and that's pretty cool. Now, um, this build is for fastering. It was released today, October 13th, around 1 p.m. And um, it seems to be quite stable. I've used it since um, I, it was installed around 2.30, 2.45 p.m. Now we're 6.40 p.m. as you see. So it's been about four hours. It's been working nonstop. I've done uh, two or three restarts to see if everything's all right. Seems to be pretty stable. So if you're looking for something that might be a stable build. It's actually pretty good. Um, what are the new features in this build? Well, um, what they've done is uh, if you have a precision trackpad on your computer that runs this build, you will have in all settings and devices, when you go to touchpad on the left side, now you see here, I don't have that panel because my touchpad, this is an old laptop. It doesn't have a precision touchpad and I suspect that's why I don't see that option available. But you should have something that will ask you to check for other gestures and you have this panel that lets you basically see uh, all the options and how you can program the taps and what you can do with your panel or your touchpad on this computer. So these are all the options that you have. Uh, you have advanced gesture configs and everything. So uh, check it out that uh, if you have a precision touchpad, you should have it there. If you don't see it, that's probably because like me, your insider machine does not have such a precision touchpad. But uh, it is interesting because now you can program pretty much everything that you want. Um, if you have a phone and everything, the continuum uh, side of phone, and PC is actually being improved. Uh, apart from that, there's also a new feature. When you go to Wi-Fi and you want to stop, so uh, let's let's go to settings here. Let's go into the uh, network and internet. If I go into Wi-Fi, one new option now is that if I switch off Wi-Fi, it will give me turn Wi-Fi back on and it's gonna give you the choice manually in one hour, in four hours, or in one day. So for example, if you say you turn it off temporarily, but you know that in an hour it sh you should have it back, it, it would be better, you can just click one hour and it's going to come back in one hour automatically without you doing anything. So uh, this is nice. That wasn't the last build, by the way, but they had made that the default was one hour. Now, because of the uh, feedback from insiders, they've put it to manually. So uh, this is nice, new uh, options for Wi-Fi that uh, enables you to pretty much delay everything. Um, that's pretty much what I have to say about the new features. Um, you know, you're only six days away from the last build, so I didn't expect to have that much. As for what's uh, going on, the good, the bad of this build, um, we have in the problems that are known, uh, first of all, the fixes, optional components such as Hyper-V and Bash should remain installed after updating to this build. So the Bash command line um, and everything should be still installed. 
Fix the issue where signing into games that use Xbox Live would not work. Fix the issues causing Microsoft Edge to sometimes crash on launch. And when you type in the address bar, talking about crashes, I have noticed that when this build was installed, first time I launched Edge, it actually crashed. But it hasn't done so since then. So I've launched um, Edge at least a dozen times and uh, it only crashed on the first time. I guess it would be because the first time it didn't have all the configs. When the, the, the screen appeared, I could see at the top it didn't have my favorites, anything. And they did come back afterwards. So I, I guess it's kind of a first crash because something was wrong and it kind of reset and everything was okay. I did have also a crash uh, for the first time that I actually went into Twitter to check Donna Sarkar's posts. And, uh, but once again, I've uh, loaded Twitter app a dozen times, no crashes. So it seems to be only the first time, or if it does crash, it doesn't crash all the time. Uh, but apart from that, everything was okay. One thing that I have noticed also is that one of the things they need to fix, and uh, you know, I, I, I'm really pressing Microsoft on this, on the anniversary update, uh, Edge has an issue where you always have that the, uh, the, need, the it needs to recover on the page when you try to change on clicking a link or click, clicking another website. When basically you have a page that has a lot of content, it seems to freeze up Edge. This is still a problem in this, uh, this build. And so I would guess that they haven't really tweaked Edge much since the anniversary update. But they really need to fix that because it is... A annoying problem annoying to a point where now I'm using Google Chrome much more than Edge on my computers now because I'm just getting annoyed at um, Microsoft Edge another thing that I've noticed also by the way I had said that the last build and some of you have confirmed that you had the same uh, boot time was longer and I had this little turning uh, you know little dots that were turning around in a black screen for a while it is a little shorter, it's still longer than I'm used to, but it does seem to boot a little faster in this build. So we'll see if it improves like more than this in the next few builds. Uh, they also fixed issues uh, causing touch scrolling to be too sensitive in Windows 10 apps. Fixed issues where explorer.exe would hang when attempting to open uh, a large uh, .mov file fixed issue that could result in network icon occasionally getting into a state where a red X would display in the taskbar despite an active internet connection. Fixed an issue if the device uh, brightness was automatically adjusted after being woken from sleep. The brightness level shown in the action center uh, would not reflect this. Fixed an issue where narrator not tracking focus on the start menu. Fixed an issue potentially resulting in the open with dialog displaying with two entries for calculator after tapping the calculator key on the keyboard. What they know of issues right now in this build, if you have a third party antivirus, Bitdefender, Kaspersky, F-Secure, Malwarebytes on your PC, PC might not be able to complete the update to this build and will roll back to previous build. So if you are on 942, and you can't upgrade to 946, remove your antivirus. It seems to prevent the move to 946 on this build. Uh, larger Windows Store games such as ReCore, Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Killer Instinct, and Rise of the Tomb Raider may fail to launch in this build. So these are issues that they know at Microsoft, and of course there are more that insiders will be uh, talking about. Also, uh, interesting, there was a, um, an article that I've read. A lot of you seem to be stuck in an older build and cannot move on to this build. Uh, from what I've seen, it uh, looks like Microsoft might be releasing some updates to uh, you guys that are stuck in an old build and that it might actually fix in the issue where you cannot go to the latest build because the builds are not appearing in your Windows updates. 
So um, be patient. It seems that something might come up that will fix this issue for you. Or else, um, you know, you can download the image file of 14931, which is the, la the last slowing build. Uh, you know, clean install and upgrade from there. I, I would guess that would probably work uh, in uh, updating to this latest build. So that's pretty much what I have to say. Um, it is a solid build. It has a few flaws, as you see. And of course, I'll be continuing on this build. And uh, if I see or have anything else to add, I'll post a future video of this. So check it out. Windows 10 Insider Preview, build 14946, available today, October 13th, for Fast Ring Insiders. Enjoy my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up. And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. And thank you for watching.